All right, what is up everyone? Welcome back for another video this week. Um, if you've been following this channel for a long time, you'll remember back in 2019, I made a video about becoming Canadian where I was talking about how I came to Canada and the process of applying to be a citizen. And that was in November, 2019. We're right now, today's June 2nd. Um, and today, after a number of other steps and an exam and some other bits and bobs, I'm getting sworn in as a Canadian citizen. Now, normally, like before coronavirus times, this would be like a day where you go into Ottawa and you get sworn in. There's a ceremony. It's a whole deal. Um, obviously, coronavirus, everything happens on Zoom now. So uh, I'm doing this meeting at home on uh, Zoom with my little uh, Zoom setup here. Um which is, um, seems like a terrible idea. But obviously, I don't have to do very much on Zoom ever, so that's how I'm going to be doing it. Um, if you were in person, you know, you dress up nice, like everybody dresses up nice. Again, because we're on Zoom, I'm just rolling, um, uh, you know, board shorts, like coronavirus time style. And I'm pretty much going to be just letting the camera run here in the background. Uh, I'm going to have headphones on, so you won't hear too much of the audio, I think. And I'm mostly just for kind of privacy reasons because I don't know who else is going to be on this Zoom call. And yeah, so anyway, just exciting day, getting sworn in as a Canadian via Zoom, which I'm a bit disappointed about because I was kind of excited to go and like go in there and, you know, like wave the flag and, and stuff. But anyway, it's kind of big, big day today, big step, a uh, big final step in the, the pathway to becoming a citizen. Didn't take as long as I expected uh, in the application period. Like I mailed it in in like November, I think, 2019, and now it's June 21. So that's actually, for, for immigration, that's actually pretty fast. So yeah, pretty stoked about it. Um, hopefully I can show you a few of the highlights here in a second. And yeah, just, uh, just very exciting times. So stay tuned. I swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of Canada, her heirs and successors, and that I will faithfully observe the laws of Canada and fulfill my duties as a Canadian citizen. Je jure que je serai fidèle. Et porter la sincère agilence à Sa Majesté la Reine Elizabeth II, Reine du Canada, à ses règles des institutions, et j'observe le fil du monde, les lois du Canada, et que je vois reprendre le monde mes obligations des citoyens canadiens. Canada, our home and native land. So, just to give you a rundown there, an hour and 40 minutes later, mostly time spent waiting, which was very entertaining. Um, a lot of Zoom shenanigans, I made some notes. Um, there was a lot of the classic, like, I can't hear you type situations. There was a few people who... There was a few times where there was like people talking when they were meant to be in a separate room or whatever, but it was very entertaining anyway. There was a judge who presided over the actual ceremony who gave some really great remarks about striving for a better life, uh, adapting to a new climate, uh, recognizing uh, land acknowledgements, and uh, some comments on that like recent um, residential school uh, mass grave they discovered uh, last week. Uh, some comments about Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms and Pride Month. And and then at the end, we had to sign this document after saying the oath and like singing O Canada and stuff. I uh, had to cut up our, our permanent residency cards because we're citizens now, not permanent residents, which is pretty cool. But also it's like a bit scary because now I can't leave Canada until um, that paperwork goes through the system and I can apply for a passport. So... It's cool, it's exciting, it's scary, and this has been a very long time, and I'm very stoked that it is over.
and I am now a citizen of Canada, and it's pretty great. Okay, that's all. Peace.